Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Esther Gidoui. You are and here's what's trending. Actor Charlie Sheen revealed he is HIV positive Tuesday in an exclusive interview on NBC's Today Show. Sheen said he was diagnosed roughly four years ago but doesn't know how he contracted it. He also insisted it was impossible that he knowingly transmitted the virus to others. While he admitted he had unprotected sex with two people since the diagnosis, both were informed ahead of time and have been under the care of his doctor. Sheen said he made the announcement to stop a smear campaign and extortion efforts. The revelation renewed a spotlight on Sheen's troubled history with drug addiction, pornography and prostitutes. Next up, some of Nigeria's hottest designers gathered in the commercial capital of Lagos to take part in this year's edition of the Lagos Fashion and Design Week. Designers wowed audiences with an elaborate array of African-inspired creations showing why Nigeria is fast becoming one of the continent's premier fashion destinations. Lagos Fashion Week featured over 40 designers. Beyond the runway, the organizers of the event said they want to reposition fashion as a useful tool for commerce and creativity in a country with high unemployment rates that is largely dependent on oil. And finally, a wonderful discovery in the Israeli town of Lod. This Roman era mosaic is believed to be 1,700 years old, depicting scenes of animals and hunting. The mosaic floor was discovered by archaeologists while they were building a visitor center meant to display another mosaic discovered two decades earlier in the same location. Israel's Antiquities Authority says the newly discovered mosaic measures 11 meters by 13 meters and once paved the courtyard of a villa in an affluent neighborhood that stood during the end of the Roman era and the start of the Byzantine Empire. And that's what's trending today.